Man, the really convenient part about everyone trying to kill us is all the bad guys get super murdered before the case gets wrapped up and goes public. Yeah. So, it's like, hey, we're going to make sure to kill you before... Oh, now I'm dead. Oh. Yep. Crap. How convenient. So let's go back. That's all we got to do is we just... Now that they're panicking because their plot's about to come out of supreme evil... We get to kill them all in self-defense. Because they're not going to take it lying down or wait for the cops to come get them. Yeah. Bam. Uh, well, what cops? Yeah, yeah. What cops are going to go yeah. get them? Us. Uh, so he said, let's look you, you at You want to go back to the mass driver. Okay. Which I believe is that thing in the center? That's what I was thinking. Solar no, mirror. No, not the, the thing that has the ramp. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's go. Because that's the thing they used to fire shit off to beyond, right? Are we gonna have a cool, like, shootout from rocket to rocket? I seriously doubt it. I really hope we have the equivalent of driving down the road. I don't think the math on that actually works. Wouldn't you be going so fast that any bullet that you fired would just be behind? No, we have to get behind the ambulance rocket to clear a path so that we have an easier ride. Like, if you were chasing somebody in a spaceship and you shot forward, wouldn't the bullet just immediately hit you in the face? Rocket shootout. Shut up. Once it hits Mach 7? Man, I want to give a shout out to Plague's fucking awesome power level DBC video that he put up. Yeah. Because he describes something about what we're talking about right now. Uh huh. Where apparently DBC guys are supposed to be moving faster than light because people can't see them. Okay. But they're talking. And he points out that they're talking faster than life. <laughs> and it might be the stupidest thing that's ever been in a Oh day. my god, stop thinking so hard about Dragon Ball. No. It was never meant to be thought about yeah, that hard. Alright, let's become a bunch of pancakes. Yeah. I do actually like this. Maha. I do like that Ed's like, listen, the whole, the whole operation we have going here is so that organs don't get ruined. Yeah. If, All, if that's the case, you should be fine. Also, it's so that you can launch out of your Gundam into space in a cool, fast manner. Pre-accelerated. Alright. It's our only way out of here. Oh, the control tower must be the building to the left, right? Better hold on to the handrail. You might fall at one-sixth gravity and not there hurt yourself at all. There has to be some other way. There's, There's no, no other, other way. He's panicking. Just deal with it. Deal with it, motherfucker. You, you know, wanna get back home and fuck people's daughters? Then you gotta get in this thing. Oh my god, he's panicking so hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. You know what? But to be fair, his experience. Massive PTH PTSD. His experience oh, yeah. with pods. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's understandable. Yeah. It's super legit and real. I don't want to fast forward 20 years and Karen comes to my office <laughs> with, a, uh, with a shitty deal. No, no, no. Okay, there Just we go. Just gonna have to deal with it. I like. We have to go at Maha 7. I like that you have to argue that like four or five times. And he just goes, no. And Ed's only response is, shut up and do it. Oh, fuck. Can we even kill one of these? I don't think so. That looks totally sealed. What? That was a mistake. Hold me it's down, buddy. It's moving way too fast. Oh, no. That's stupid. You'll never destroy that. that That's insane. That That's insane. Holy crap, look at this CG. Whoa, whoa. He's doing it. Look at that crazy shit. That's crazy. Look at this is the budget right here. There's no chance. Is this the part where Jonathan's like, we'll never defeat this robot? Basically. I'll, I'll die if I stay here. I defeated this robot. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, you didn't have to get headshots there. 
just vaguely shoot the CG. Okay, but here comes more of them, oh. and we're gonna overlap the gifts. Oh, jeez. Just overlap them at different timelines and time frames. Just do that. How many armor-piercing bullets do you carry, Jonathan? Infinite. Oh, that's a lot. It's funny, I have this bandana in my pocket that Meryl gave me. We have to leave. Stop being a coward and get... Don't, Why? Don't get in the pot. Yeah, get in the You know what? Hold on. What if this is a trick? What if it's a trick? Huh? What if this is a super yeah, hard a trick? Save. Yeah, Yeah, don't get in the pot. Oh. Like, what if the second one blows us up because we didn't take it out? Eh. We only took out one of the two. Be, then you'll be dead. Okay. Why would that be... Oh man, we're cool. What if this takes just slightly too long to reach beyond and they die? May yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. Look, man, it you know you're on the path to solving the case if you have to face your deepest fears. Yeah. If part of the, the, the story makes you overcome your greatest, darkest fear, yeah. then you are progressing as a character. So take it as a sign. Oh yeah, we did it! Nice. We beat it! I'm- oh man. It's fucking poli- Keep just, that in mind, eh? I was- what? If you're in life and you're ever trying to overcome something, yeah. and then you're just some- the, the horrible- Holy, life doesn't work according to the rules of a story. You've got protagonist syndrome real bad right no, now. No, no, I am not a protagonist. You're crazy. Uh, yeah, Biomort. So I see myself as a supporting character in my own plot, buddy. Oh, you know what? You are your Egil uh, in Sword Arts. I don't know what that He's is. He's the blacksmith sure. guy. He's sure. the only black guy in the entire show. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. For <laughs> sure. I live in and fucking he, Canada, and he dude. Complete, and he completely is fine. The whole time, yeah. nothing bad happens yep. to him ever. No, that's it. I'm, I'm one. Of, I'm and super he's, supporting. He's a reliable guy. <laughs> very friendly. <laughs> but don't get too close, no, though. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. Did they not die of thirst? Uh, there must have been something. Why would there be water inside of industrial pod? They ate the biomorts. <laughs> yeah, of course they did. Well, of yeah. Of course they did. But they didn't kill him, so... No. Oh, Meryl's there, and Garen's there, too. Nice! Everything's just fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So Written in fucking white blood. <laughs> or chalk, or whatever. Like, do you guys realize that it's not as scary for us with red blood if you write in white blood? It's, in fact, not intimidating at all. Oh, man. Oh, that's stupid. What if we go in disguises? What if you decided that your son's life was worth exposing everybody? Now that you've got the facts. What if you're like, ha, ah, that was my trick. I adopted a child that I didn't love <laughs> just so that when you took a hostage, I wouldn't care. There you go. Long game, long con. That's a long con. What if, what if you gave all the facts to Karen right now, the news reporter, <laughs> who just... Who could then air it and have it on the record no, forever? Shut up. She can't corroborate that. Even though we're primary sources, we're also under investigation. That's a nice shot. That is a really nice shot. I feel like it's bizarre that they're asking the, the BBC, which Karen works for, and Karen is totally on. They know she's with the. Whatever. Her boss is a cool guy that's off camera and is, up a bunch of CG and is super okay with faking her being there, yeah. It was all in the plans since she was sickly and about to drop dead with Jenga bones. <laughs> Oh, man. Karen, how's your bones? Oh, 
Do I, what do you well, you know what we should have done? We should have stolen some bone marrow mm. while we were at the thing. At least, at least that from one of the corpses we were about you to. You know, like, I don't know, her dad? Yeah. Yeah. That would have been a good donation match. Alright. The bad news is they keep kept your dad as a biomorph. The good news is all the marrow you can eat. That's not... You know what? Yeah, all the marrow you can eat. Oh, he does care. Shit. Our plan is failing immediately. <laughs> uh, shoot out at a, at a celebration. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Like, I understand sending Ed in, but Meryl's like a six and a half foot tall woman with giant red hair. But she probably has the best aim. But wouldn't you just? Yeah, no, yeah, basically. There she is. Basically. <laughs> and that's the other thing is that like when you're a bad guy in this type of scenario, you can shoot indiscriminately, but the good guys can't pull fire unless yeah. they're sure. Oh, we're, oh, we're doing camera play. Oh, oh, yeah. Playing Night Trap. Basically. Hey, guess what? Night Trap's a piece of fucking shit. I'm so bummed out to yeah, hear I know. that. You were carrying a torch in your heart for Night Trap's potential. I want it to be an amazing piece of shit. Yeah. Alright, this seems pretty simple. Switch the, the cameras. And uh, eventually you'll see some bullshit. Gotta reuse these scenes as well. As, yeah, but now they just have people painted on them. Mm -hmm. In the beyond corner. Oh, oh the, heads are, the heads are back! Yay. That's, that's very useful. Important. Yeah. People would be probably uncomfortable. Hey, what happened to these two guys? We took their heads off as a show of solidarity for the crimes they committed. Okay, cool. Can I get my narc now? <laughs> I could get some narc now, please. Okay. Odd numbers are close in. Mm -hmm. And even numbers are wide shots. Karen, why aren't you working this? Wouldn't you be an expert at this? Hey, look. Hey, hey, hey. You talk to Meryl. What you got? Nothing. Stop looking at the camera. That looks genuinely suspicious as shit. Hey, Ed. What do you got? Why are you tilting your head like that? Don't worry about it. Don't see nothing unusual. Oh! God damn it. One of the cameras just went out. That is strange. Mm, no, you know what it what about is. the other one? Uh-oh. I don't see anything suspicious. Do you see anything suspicious? No. Oh, uh, you should talk to Ed and Merrill. Yeah, right away. And be like, hey, we're losing camera shit. Beyond is making its way over to Moon. Man, I thought Meryl was gonna be like an Easter egg. No, and she's then, super like, key. She's massive. She's way, way character. key. She's like number four or five in the in the supporting cast list. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it's back. What you got? Oh, somebody's fucking with us. Are there like 18 Tonys walking around? Just I, I was thinking about something on the way over here, and I th and like I would love it as the ultimate twist. That you know how, how Frozeners are you are manufactured people using cool people's DNA. Yep. Particularly from the military and the uh, the police force. Yep. What if Tony was Jonathan? I don't even understand. Like he was manuf- like he's a clone of the Oh, oh. And then, then he'd look a little bit more like him. No, because they all look like that. Mm. And he has purple hair. And then Jonathan would kill himself. They're basically just Zentradi, is what they are in this world. Man, I have no idea what that is. Aliens from uh, Macross. Alright. Alright. Oh, there's a monster right there. In the dead center. What is that monster? Yeah. 
That's the shooter. He's just right there. Go get him. Go fuck him up. Man, this is so weird, but this is not. I can feel well, us being manipulated. Well, you know what it is though. Like you just did. You did this when you were there yourself twice, right? Yeah. So now we got to remix the gameplay so that you do it manually on a camera, so that it feels a little different. Oh, oh. He disappeared. Check the wide shot of that, uh, of the beyond corner, and then you'll see. Beyond the wide. No. No. You lost him. Okay. What about. Shit. Did you lose everyone? Where is everyone? We gotta switch around until they come back. Oh, no. You know, you know they're gonna keep it going. Oh, man. This is scary. Tense. Shouldn't Ed be there by now? Start examining these. Oh man, everything seems fine. Where'd he go? Nothing. Not Moon. Fuck. They fuck it with me. Uh, I don't see nothing. Yeah. yeah okay. Said. Where's Meryl? Where'd he go, man? He also blipped out of existence. He did. Which is. Yeah. Making me feel like the camera feeds are untrustworthy as shit. All right, there you at. Okay. Hey, Meryl. He should be near you. Uh, okay. Like, what's the game plan here if he's alone, you know? Murder. But silently? No. Loud. As loud as it can be. Okay. All right. So it seems to be talk to people, then check the areas. Then Around. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it only showed up once you looked and noticed that nothing was there. No. So far, so good. All right. Uh, okay. So now he should be somewhere in the new monitors. <sighs> No. These wide shots are really not that helpful. No, they're not. You wouldn't even notice a change. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ed's fuck. the kid. And now someone in the space suit. Man, they're really fucking with us. Did he have time to put on that suit, or is that another... No, it's gotta be a different person. Yeah, yeah, no way. It's gotta be a different person. Uh-oh. 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 I don't like this. Man, this is a huge trap. But it's like, how did they know you guys were going to be using the cameras, you know? You know. That's because what he, Karen's boss is actually working for Tokugawa. Like, how did they not know that you, the four of us were just going to walk in there on foot and, and, and sp spread out? Playing with the cameras implies they know what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Alright, you're both going to the lobby, right? Okay, she's gone. Okay, what do you think about this guy, though? Guys, uh, space suit, Mark. Switch off, Ed. Ed's. What happened with Mark? Mark's no. on her way. You stay there. Yep. There it is. Okay. So he's probably coming down this side. I don't see him. Uh. Nothing unusual in the moon corner. Let's flop back a little bit. All right. Zoom out. Damn. Zoom back in. Oh, there's Mar yeah, okay, that's, that's what you got to do. Yeah. It's not showing up anywhere. Damn it. Where'd he run? Where'd he run? Now talk, he... Talk to, uh, uh, to Ed, and then flip the cameras around, and something will happen. He might be going. Yeah, so they had to tell you to look around with the cameras for it to yeah. work. Yeah, you're not gonna see anything on the wide shots. There you always is. have to come back. Yeah. The wide shot is just to make this shit work. Mm -hmm. Except for when they just teleport anyway. Yeah. Ed! How big is this place? Shouldn't they be able to see Well, people? no, now Meryl should go down to beyond and corner him while Ed comes from above. Yeah. Okay. Pincer! Pincer! Yeah, Pincer! Get him from both sides! Uh, there we go. Ah! It's a trap! Uh-oh. Am I gonna go running? 
Oh, fuck this. Get in there. Oh, fuck this. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, wow, really? Wow, Tony. Oh, no! Oh, my bones! Grab the kid. Don't, don't go oh, for the... Oh, who is it? Well, yeah, it's Chris, obviously, but... Uh, grab the kid. Very obviously Chris. Because why else would... She's not shooting, but, but she's not there to kill, but she's there to make the plan yeah. go forward because she's super evil. Was that a whole chapter? That was a whole chapter, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're in there. Do, 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 do. No, that wasn't a whole chapter. No. It's a nice and sick one. No. Come on. You gotta take him to the hospital. Come on. Gotta take him to the B-C-C-H. <laughs> Chris, tell me how he's doing. Demo. Is he in a fucking biomort tube? If he noticed who it was, but the kid didn't, that's a weird one. Why would the kid know Chris? Well, he would recognize, right? If, if, if... Clearly he got close, Ed got close enough to see the face through the reflection. Yeah. So, why would a child be close enough to see that? Well, the child is, but the child don't talk. But he just said Papa. Yeah, well, he talked a little. Remember, a child is actually normal. Just traumatized. I thought Chris was saying, saying I was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, that, that would have been pretty impressive. Oh, God, I wish Meryl could just see QC her right now. Through the glass. Oh, fuck yeah. Ed would be like, ow, but also thumbs up. <laughs> I want Ed to crawl out of the fucking tube with a gun and just shoot Chris and go, I live, bitch. <laughs> be so worth it. Not that Tokugawa would give a shit because he could just pull another Biomort. Wait, the... what? Why'd he stay single? Because you gotta be a responsible dad. Can't be worried about all that, you know. Can't be worried about getting your dick wet when you got kids to take care of. They can handle themselves for life. Nah, you gotta be a good dad. No, fuck that. They can, here, here's some narc. Play with this. Yeah. Nah, dude, parents make sacrifices. No date nights when you gotta spend time. Man, that's stupid as shit. Well, there's one when you're alone. It's tough, man. Let's go send the kids to hang out with Uncle Johnny. Yeah, there was no Uncle Johnny. Oh man, she really took it. She's like, bam. Oh, that was like not. That was not a. That was not a, a, a daily collapse. Yeah. She over, overdid it. What did she go and do? But she's got to help with the case, Doc. But she's so naturally sickly. It just makes me want a mammal. I need to talk to you about your hospital, Dr. Collins. Yeah. Specifically about your boss. Did, what? what? Why does he know me? Because yeah. of television. Yeah. And he's like, listen, I don't give a shit about any of that. Crap. I care about Karen. I'm the one good doctor in this evil. Evil hospital. <laughs> hey Doc, how do you feel about being brain dead forever? And being a factory farm for organs. You okay with that? Oh man, Dr. Goldman is a massive inspiration. She's amazing. <laughs> Hope he doesn't get biomorted. Oh, dude, anyone that's a friend that's like not cute or heroic material is fucking dead. Yeah, well...
Well, that's how it works. I would like to implore. Hold on. I implore you to. I gotta look at him first. It's all up to this doctor. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that right now. She's got not plast abnormality in her bone and the stem cells. So the bad guy's plan super failed, right? We got the kid back and Ed's not dead. Yeah, but Chris he, is around to finish the he's job. He's horribly injured in the hospital yeah. that Chris controls and yeah. Jonathan yeah, yeah, is yeah, also yeah. there. Now, you know that thing where like you you have the sur you have the syringe that you put into like the IV yeah. to like, it's like whoops, hey, little air bubble right there for you. All dead. Please enjoy. I thought you could use some air. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Fuck off, Tony. <laughs> uh, Suffering from appendicitis. That too. I well, just pull it out then. As well as a lot of other stuff. Oh wait, you can't because she has shitty organs. immune system. Yeah. Because appendicitis ain't no big deal when it's all you have. Hemorrhaging has to stop. And she's need wow. She is just a cascading failure of all sorts of again. Health problems. Crystal princess to be protected. Glass cannon. Yep. Pray your your final great. Do your great gospel. Final fucking limit break for us. Why don't you? Uh -huh. Oh wow. Uh -huh. She won't survive like this. Damn. Better hurry up. Got to get it in there. What she needs. Okay, when you get a bone marrow transplant, do they replace the marrow in all of your bones? I assume as much as possible that, without murdering you. That seems, like, horrific. It seems super, super bad. But I don't imagine... Maybe you just have to put a little bit in and it grows back. Yeah, I think, again, I assume that if, I feel like it's, like, as much as possible. Yeah. Is that right? Bone marrow. Patients is sufficient. Sorry, this is... Oh, and she's all screwed up now. Oh, man. Okay. It's very complex. It's like a blood transfusion. We take marrow stem cells from a donor. Oh, okay. The... It's very different, actually. Because okay. man... It takes man about an hour. Manually jamming bone marrow in everybody, that's... Before the transplant, we kill off the recipient bone marrow stem cells with the oh, blood that's... cells. Oh, that's... Give them large doses of chemotherapeutic drugs and expose their entire body to 7.5 That million. is a fairly extreme operation. Interesting. Oh. It's well, not we were it's way it's off then. Yeah. It's not about the marrow. It's about the marrow parts. Okay. You gotta find a donor. Or the stem cells, specifically. Yeah. Uh, wow. What we about up. HLA type? What is that? Primary cause of rejections had to do with... Lymphocytes. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know if that's real, but it's real here. Probably. It's not just the immune system, it's the, the, the donor compatibility. Got it. So the type of match came from the transplant. Well, you could, but it would probably fail and thus reject be super hard, yeah. Waste everybody's time and, and, uh, and the organs. What are the chances? Non-blood mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. relatives are extremely Good low. thing we got a deal for that. We have a solution, but it's over on the moon. The rate of interracial and inter-ethnic matches is almost zero. Really? Yeah, that makes sense. Ha! Huh. If it's genetic, right? Damn, sorry, white people. High, I high can't save you. success is... Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> So does the one drop rule apply to life-saving organs? Arrow? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, I'd rather die. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Oh, 70% is pretty good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, no.